How much have on your lunch box? Three dollars. Three? Okay. Are you doing like a YouTube channel? I do. <laughs> Come on by and let's uh, sell you some stuff. <laughs> Damn. Was this your stuff as a kid or just? Yeah. No one had that stuff. I know that stuff is really rare. <laughs> Six, fifty, seven, fifty, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, a thousand. 40, 60, 80, 11, 20, 40, 60. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. I have three of your two dollar games. Alrighty. There you go. Thank you so Thank much. You. Let's make sure real quick. Yeah, look at the garage. Okay. Got lots of books. I don't know. Have a great day. Thank you. 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 Good. Pretty sure I owe you 18 on this stack, but you can double check uh, if you want. You know, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Seems I pretty easy to count. Bags. Sure. Where are the bags? Let's see. I got them out. If not, I'm not parked far. Oh, okay. Oh, I can probably slide them right there on the side, uh, actually. You sure? Yep, there we go. Okay, Perfect. There you go. And there's 18 okay, for you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Good morning. How you doing? Good, thanks. How much you have on your lunch box? Um, three dollars. Three? Okay. Yeah, Okay. Do you have any more turtle stuff or anything, or is that it? I think that's it. Is that it? Okay. All right. Let's see what I owe you. 39. 39? Oh, I'm going to grab this one too. So 41. There you go. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. If you have one, I can throw all these DVDs in there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. You guys have a good day. How's it going? Good, you? Good, man. We pulled up.
up in it, so I had to ask. <laughs> How you I like your Bronco? Line. I love it, man. Yeah. yeah. We were looking at those and, and uh, Blazers, and we ended, we ended up going with the Blazer already yeah. there. But, I didn't uh, look at the Blazers, but I saw one after I bought that, and those look really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I think the same about the Broncos, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's always greener. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hard to decide. Right. How much you have on the autograph Colts hats over there? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. How much okay. do you guys want for the autograph Colts hats? Was you wanting to know something about these? Um, I was just asking what the price on the on the hats were. Well, honestly, I don't know what all this stuff was. This is my dad's stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like an estate sale, really. And he had all this autograph stuff in, in the cabinet there. And to be honest, I know one of them was Harbaugh, which I think is that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know. What do you... What do you think it's worth? Shoot, uh, I don't know. I just if you're kinda... interested, we'll work something out. I mean, Let's see, we got three of those. That's a Vanna White. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I kind of like that too. What's his name? Pat. Pat uh, Sajak. It's, yeah. <laughs> he, um, was, he was in the, in the DJ business, so he met oh, really? a lot of famous people, a lot of cold players. Oh, that's cool. He met a lot of cold players, a lot of pastry players. Right. Over here. Yeah. In the, in the bars and stuff, you know. I mean, for the three hats and that, and the Andrew Luck here, like 35? USB? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I have no clue either. <laughs> hey, Alan, I'm going to check with my brother. He's, uh -huh. So, 35 bucks for the three hats, the Van this White, and, this. and the Andrew Luck. That'll work. Cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm thinking that'd be okay. Yeah, yeah, right on. He drives a Bronco, so he's not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Those are really nice. I like those the color, cool. too. Oh, I thank you. I like, you like color. Color. The colors are really I love it, man. Yeah. It's really cool. Are you doing, like, a YouTube channel? I do. I do like a YouTube channel like where I go around and like find collectibles at yard sales and I stuff mean, like that. Are we on right now? Um, I'm kind of okay. facing that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, yeah, I can hear you. Hello, YouTube. Come on by. There you go. Uh, sell you some stuff. <laughs> um, are you guys putting more stuff out later or is this? Well, we have been bringing some stuff yeah. out. This is but... the bulk of it, uh -huh. I think, but uh, we got a uh, adjustable bed over there. Okay. We're trying to get yeah. out. It's got the mattresses and stuff too. I don't know that people you know, want. Yeah, we just like don't. that. But <laughs> awesome, do, awesome guys. Right. You need a, uh, some sort of box. I think I can just carry it. All. It's pretty easy. Okay. Awesome yeah, guys. Right. Well, good Thank luck you. with it. Thanks. Kind of cool. We're kind of surprised. It's kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I remember her. It's been late. <laughs> All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you, man. This and two of your DVDs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Did you need change? I didn't even see how much. Uh, should be four plus a dollar a piece, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So it's been a pretty average day of yard sales. I've already been home. I'm not super excited about the stuff I found today. There's there's some okay stuff. You know, we'll get to it in a minute. But I decided to look on Facebook Marketplace just to see if there was anything that I should go check out. Something that wasn't on my route this morning. And I happened upon a listing for some Neo Geo games, which are like the ultimate unicorn as far as video games go that I would want to find. So here's the listing right here. Um, it's six games and it's $750, which sounds crazy. But if you look at them, these are all AES games. And I contacted the fella and he said that they're all complete. Um, they all have the manuals and they're in uh, like new condition is what he said. And you can see that they've been listed for a while, which is kind of crazy for anything uh, video game related, but that price might have scared some people off. So he said they're still available, and he also dropped the bomb on me that there's a console that he hasn't listed yet. It doesn't have any cords, so it's basically untested, plus like a pile of other random video games. He quoted me a price for everything, uh, $1,400, which is a lot of money. It's kind of a risk, especially with that console being untested. But I think even for parts mixed with those games, I think that there's a good deal there. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go meet him right now, pick him up, and then when we get back, we'll see if it was a good deal or not. Just have to top off the gas real fast, then we'll be on our way. 
How's it going? How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Brought a tote just in case. Do I need a tote? I, to I brought one. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got this stuff Cool. Take a look at it. Right on. Damn. Very cool. Awesome. The, the Neo Geo games, they have, they have the manuals and everything. Do they? Very yeah. cool. Was this your stuff as a kid or just? Yeah. I doubt about it. Man, no one had that stuff. I know that stuff is really rare. <laughs> I know. Every time, it's hard to find that stuff. Yeah. Cool. And the 3DL <laughs> games? Hmm? Yep, and the 3DL games, very cool, man. Sure. Appreciate that. Let's see. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. Thank you, sir. 40, 60, 80, 11, 20, 40, 60, 80, 12, 40, 60, 80, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 14. Thank you. Awesome, man. Appreciate it, yeah. bud. Appreciate you, man. Have a good day. You too. Have fun with that. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we are back in the garage. It's actually a couple days later. I finally got everything all organized and situated and whatnot. And all I can say is, wow, when do you guys see this? So real quick, let's get into it. Like I said, the actual yard sales were a bit underwhelming. Uh, just, just kind of average, some decent stuff. A lot of shelf filler right here. So just real quick, uh, picked up this Lego head. It's a carrying case, paid four bucks for it. I think these do sell okay. I saw it as more of, of like a store display piece or something. I think there's something cool with that we could do with that. Paid three bucks for the Sesame Street lunchbox. No thermos, but the graphics are good on it. I'm thinking I could probably price that at about 15 or so. Thought this was kind of neat, this uh, wooden board TMNT Battle of the Bands. It's got the turtles and then the bad guys over here, the shells and the rebels. Friday, October 29, 1984, Sewer Stadium, New York. Paid five bucks for that. Thought it was pretty cool. I'm guessing I'll price that at around 15 or so as well. Took a shot on this Bakugan for $5 because it was sealed in the package. It's got a little bit of age to it. I think realistically it's probably 15 bucks. Super Mario Adventures book. This is really neat. It was $2 and I think it sells for around 10 to 20 ish. Got a big stack of media, a lot more than I usually grab, but that's kind of what I was seeing. So I, I just grabbed a bunch of titles that I thought would, would uh, look good on the shelf and sell and sell over time. Got some anime, some Pokemon. This still has the card inside. Some box sets like Indiana Jones and Star Wars and some uh, Back to the Future box sets. Some special edition Lion King Blu-rays. Uh, some special edition Alien DVDs. A Minion Steelbook, Final Fantasy Adventure Time, Aliens Blu-ray. Uh, paid like one to three dollars per on these, and I'll sell them for between like three and eight dollars per. Or so, so nothing huge, but just decent shelf filler. Ideally, I'd want to get this kind of stuff for cheaper, but uh, they were some pretty decent titles, so I figured why not? This sale was interesting. Paid $35 for all this stuff here. Uh, first of all, just thought the Pat Sajak and Vanna White autograph picture was kind of funny. It's made out to Nicole. The Andrew Luck statue here with the uh, COA made by the Danbury Mint. This actually has some pretty good comps on it. Um, historically, it sells for between like $50 and $200. The most recent comp for a used one like this, I think, is right around $80, so that pays for the lot. And then these hats are what really caught my attention. No um, COAs or anything, so it just is what it is. But I noticed that this one was signed by Jim Harbaugh, plus a few other people. This one is signed by Ken Dilger. But the one that really caught my attention was this one, because I saw this signature right here, which is Peyton Manning. That's a that's an autograph I recognize because I've actually studied his autograph before. But this one is also signed by Chris Hetherington, Jeff Harrod, and Marshall Falk. And with a quick little bit of research, I realized that the only year that all four of those players overlap on the Colts roster was 1998, which is actually Peyton Manning's rookie year. So at that point, I thought this was really cool. Again, no COA. I'm sure someone out there is gonna want it. This already pays for everything. So this is kind of my wild card right here. And then we have these board games. Uh, I've said it before, I'm not a huge fan of dealing in used board games, but if you see Axis and Allies anything for two bucks a pop, it's probably worth grabbing. This one right here has comps for between 25 and 40 bucks. This one has comps for between 40 and 50 bucks. And this one also has comps for between 40 and 50 bucks. Like I said, two bucks a piece, so couldn't really leave them behind. And then we have what is probably the best video game find of my entire life. I don't necessarily make it a habit to seek out video games, mainly because the competition is brutal. 
everyone's looking for them. People are rushing to sales. People are, are uh, responding to ads and offering more and it becomes a bidding war. But when I was looking for one more sale to attend, I happened upon this listing. I thought there was no way that it was still available. I just went ahead and messaged the guy because I never, ever, ever see Neo Geo stuff. Gave me a price of $1,400 for everything. And I just said, let's, let's just go for it. So real quick, let's just go through some rapid fire comps of some of the extra stuff. There's an Atari Lynx right here. I didn't think this would probably work. It does not work. This will be for parts. It probably just needs a good cleaning or something. I'm not going to mess with it, but even for parts, it's like 50 to 75 bucks. And then there's like eight games for the Lynx. Casinos like 10 to 15 bucks. Hard drive-ins like 15 bucks. Checkered flag is around 20. California games is around 15. Blue lightning is around 15 to 20. Ninja Gaiden is around 30-ish. Road Blasters is around 20 to 25. And this Pac-Man is also around 20 to 25. Got Sonic and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis, which comps out loose like this at around 35 to 40 bucks. We have a bunch of, uh, it's either 3DO or 3D stuff. I'm, I'm not sure how the kids refer to it, but we have this controller. It's an off-brand, but it still comps out at around 35 to 40 bucks. And then all these are complete. We have Need for Speed complete, uh, comps at around 40 to 45. Wing Commander 3 comps out at around 50. John Madden Football is around 10 to $20. Road Rash is around 80 to $90. That's a good one. And Microcosm sells for around 60 bucks complete like this. This is pretty cool. We have a copy of The Legend of Zelda with the round SOQ. It is with box, with a mint condition cartridge, styrofoam, Nintendo sleeve. There's no map and no instructions, so that definitely hurts the value, but even like this, it should sell for around $100. If the box was perfect, the box alone could sell for much more than that, but I think that this is about a $100 setup right here. Got a bunch of random 3DO stuff, some software, and some manuals and stuff. All that will have value on its own. We have all this down here, like some more NES games, uh, TMNT and Mario. We have an NES Advantage. We have a console only NES, Castlevania for PS3, a bunch of random games like Star Wars for the SNES. There's a legit N64 controller with a good joystick. Some more games, some more controllers, some zappers. So there's definitely some decent value down in here too, just not enough to really comp out one by one right now. So that brings us back to the Neo Geo stuff. Like I said, these are US versions, complete inbox, AES games. Stuff like this is really hard to comp out if you're just using eBay, just because these versions, complete and clean like this, don't show up that often. So it's hard to just know what they're worth by looking at a quick comp. To really get an understanding of the value, um, I looked at Facebook groups, I looked at Terapeak, I looked at price charting. So just to give you an idea of the value on these, I'll show you an eBay comp as well as the price charting average value for complete inbox. Riding Hero, I guess probably one of the more common games. I was able to find a comp on this for 150 bucks. Terra Peak says it has sold for up to 280 in the last year. Price charting has the average value of, of about $118. Thrash Rally, I was able to find a comp for this exact version for $350, and I think price charting has it right around $300. NAM 1975, Terra Peak has values up to $400. I was able to find a comp for $350, and price charting has it at uh, right around $273. Magician Lord, I was able to find a sold comp for $650. I think more realistically, these, these commonly sell for around $300. Price charting has it at around $350. Burning Fight, Terra Peak shows sold up to $600. I was able to find a comp for $485 and price charting has it right around $425 as the average selling price. And then probably the best one is uh, Baseball Stars 2. Terra Peak shows up to $600. I was able to find a comp for $560 and price charting lists it at right around $545 for this version. So basically, if we use strictly the price charting values, we're looking at right over $2,000 in potential sales. And if we look at the eBay comps that I was personally able to find, we're looking at closer to $2,500. So any way you slice it, the money's there. Very, very desirable games. Very cool to have found them. I'll probably never find another one. That's why I had to jump on these. But the real wild card was the console. Like I said, it was untested because it did not have a power supply or an AV cable. It did have the box. And as you can see, this is the Neo Geo Gold system. This is one of the early US systems. And from what I understand, this version is getting harder and harder to find. So I ordered a five volt power supply. I ordered a couple AV cables. I don't have a CRT TV right now, so I'm using one of the HD cables. And the cool thing is everything works. So if we pop a game in there, compare it to a Sega game, they're, they're just massive. Flip it on. There we go. Look at that.
So here we have ourselves a working Neo Geo AES gold system. Something I never thought I would find. Absolutely crazy. The box is pretty much shot on this side, but it is there, so that's very cool. It is a replacement power cable and a replacement AV cable. That's going to hurt the value. But Terapeak has, has this version sold in the last year for up to $2,500. It's not to be confused with the uh, Neo Geo X Gold that was released not too long ago as kind of like one of those uh, reissues. And there's also Japanese consoles that look pretty similar, unless you look at the bottom. But all in all, I'd be surprised if this wasn't valued at least between 800 and 12, 1200, and I, I think I'm being conservative. So, so 1400 bucks might have seemed crazy. I'm glad I jumped on it because I think there's so much meat left on the bone here. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, love ya, bye. When they hear that cha ching, and they all look at me. I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap